mm, drop it like a thotty, drop it like a thotty. I said, no, drop it like a thotty, drop it like a thotty. Beyonce on my shirt for those of you. Tequila. <laughs> Tequila and Beyonce. You need life. Our, our pie in the sky um, supporters of the show right now. <laughs> Now you know Beyonce got the lawyers. They gonna call up here and be like, "No, we ain't." Find the sky. Like wish list. Wish list. Wish list. Endorse. Yes. Wish yes. list. B just had a birthday. Happy birthday. No, dear. Virgo season. Drop it like a daddy. Drop it like a daddy. <laughs> Confession. I danced to that in my office earlier. <laughs> I don't have it loud. And I'm tucked away, but I have to take dance break. So, you know, I keep an eye out, one eye on the door, and then <laughs> the other eyes like hell. Pop, no. pop, pop, pop. Now, yes. you've worked with me before. You know, I'll have my music or my headphones up loud, especially late at night. True. I'm in there, but um, I don't think I've ever busted open, jumped oh. down low. <laughs> I can't scrub the ground no more like that, but I was. Hands were on the knees, I will say. Mm -hmm. I was, drop it like a thotty, drop it like a thotty. Okay. See? You know, a little something for the people. Hi. Hi, everyone. Oh, I'm Faith. Why don't you get the script every week? We're going to do it again. Run it back. Run it back. Bring it back. Bring it back. Okay. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Forget it. That's okay. Faith. I'm Nasa. This is the show. Gang, gang. <laughs> Today's show is a free for all. Aren't they all kind of a little bit? Well, they start out crazy and then we reel it in. We reel it in. You're correct. But today, we kind of have like an outline, you know? Yeah. You, you roll your eyes. Okay. <laughs> and that's fine. <laughs> Listen, by you the time we had drinks, we haven't had any drinks yet. We just no, and you drink when we record. I don't. I have water in my Memphis Yeti. Well, I assume I'm drinking tequila on your shirt. <laughs> tequila. I'm gonna sing next week. Watch if y'all gonna sing every week. Yeah, I'm you were around too. my mom too. You should have asked her about that. She was oh. working. She was. She she, she was does. focused. She was, she? Okay. Anywho, we appreciate you all joining the ladies today. And um, next, what have we been up to? We a lot has transpired in our lives. Uh, we're just coming off a holiday. Yes. By the time you all listen to this, it, Labor Day will have passed. Of course. Um, yeah. Yeah. You do I don't anything? spend the holiday resting. Like what? I know. I know. I took a nap every day. Oh! of the holiday i needed it my oldest was home okay and so i hung out with her and my baby girl mm. and um literally took a nap every day and needed it so i'm pretty happy about that actually don't make them faces i'm about to run around the church honey mm. Mm -mm 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 about Jesus what is done for me oh, what? <laughs> Go ahead. I'm done talking today <laughs> I'm not talking anymore the rest of the show is going to be a face <laughs> soliloquy I'm so happy for you I don't know what to do you took a nap every day every day <gasps> I love naps I've been tired and I needed to lean into that and so I did Look at God. I told you I'm trying to do new things and be better. Oh, you have a new like initiative that I you do. About. Do, you, do you care to talk about that? No. Okay. So there is a IG person, influencer, um, owned by Fem. Um, she, I think her real name is Renee. Okay. And so she posted that doing a little 30 day reset. And just, you know, looked at her life and got out of whack. And she was like, let me reclaim it. Let me focus and make sure that my practices are aligning with what I want. 
Mm -hmm. um, and I've been feeling all kind of crazy, which we'll talk about more here shortly. Mm -hmm. But um, I decided to join her on that journey. She don't know me. She don't know I joined her. But I'm joining her <laughs> on the journey okay. and thought, let me do better and live the life that I want. Mm -hmm. So I'm a person who always writes down everything, right? Yeah. And I have a really detailed list of the life that I want. Because I think you have to know where you're going. Mm -hmm. and I, have, I can then assess where I am mm -hmm. and see are they aligned if they're not aligned how can I make where I am move more in the direction of what I want and so I was like hmm let me do some things to be better and one of them was take naps mm -hmm. um, another one of them was just really trying to be really intentional about my time um and yeah, just really be intentional about my time, about my wants and my desires and, and all that. So yesterday was really kind of the first day of that. I try to document it. Mm -hmm. eh, I document pretty good until I get busy. And then I'm like, ah, day's over. And I'm like, oh, I didn't take no pictures. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then here it is day two. I took no pictures, but I did really, really well about being in the moment mm -hmm. and being present Okay. Um, and not always being in seven places at one time. Cause I feel like I'm constantly in seven places at one time. Mm -hmm. So that's the new initiative that I'm working on. Um, so it's supposed to be 30 days. I'm hoping it lasts much longer than that because okay. yeah, I have to, I have to get myself together. Reclaim your time. Sis. Reclaim my time. Yes. I'm okay. getting myself together. I'm proud of you. I mean, let's be honest. As a mess, I'm still a pretty big deal. <laughs> I mean, she said. I mean, I am. I am. I make a mess look good, but I also know what I want, mm -hmm. and I don't want to be a mess. I want to be better, so I shall. Mm -hmm. Drop it like a body. Whoops. <laughs> I'm proud of you for that. That's good. So that was my weekend epiphany. What was yours? <laughs> I <laughs> I went to the ATL, Shadi. Uh, <laughs> I haven't been to Atlanta in forever, and you know, for people who know, Nashville's not that far from Atlanta. Most people drive. A flight is like two minutes. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You barely get service in the air, like you, like oh, we're here, um, <laughs> right? Yeah, it's the same amount of time getting to the airport early and getting out of Atlanta's airport that you would in the car getting to Atlanta. Yeah. Yep. So went to Atlanta. Um, it was twofold. I got to see one of my best friends from elementary school. Um, that was fun. We had a girl's night, which was much needed for her. Uh, <laughs> so hey, that was the show. Hello. Hey, Mo. Let's go call her. Hey, Mo. Uh, <laughs> But did that, and then I spent time with my family, my dad's side specifically. Um, while they are from Jersey, my father and some other relatives have moved in recent years to Georgia. So I got to spend some time with them, hadn't seen them in a long time. Um, and kind of, and learn. It was my, it was really like, I learned history of the family, you know what I mean? Like, it was, like, I have a cousin who was just absolutely amazing. Like. I could just, she's traveled all over and she's trying to pull me along now and I'm yes. open to it. It was amazing. She's trying, she like legit. She's like, yeah, I went here and I went. She asked, you know, we're talking about Martha's Vineyard and she's been before during the Black Film Festival and she was mm. telling me how amazing it is and, you know, and, and when the Obama stepped foot on the island, like she has these stories. So... <laughs> wow right so I'm like wow you know I just felt like I was discovering a whole new part unlocking that Obama air girl <laughs> he did share Obama air so I that, cry. I'm like he was here you know that was me at Alvin Ailey anyway I know <laughs> but I do understand it's not the same I know um I know I know but no, no everybody has their thing I felt that way about Judith Jameson when I met her oh, I about cried you, I know, right? You see her in a white leotard and a skirt. Her leg right here. 
Okay, sorry. So <laughs> I got to do that. And I went to something that apparently has been going on for 18 years that I didn't know about. It's called House in the Park. And um, it's a house music festival. Okay. And you know, I love house music. And you love to dance. And I love to dance. So I want to go back next year. Like it was. It was raining and I I looked a mess, but I didn't care. I was in the moment and everybody else was in the moment. And come find out, my um, stepsister and her husband, they were there. He was one of the vendors. So like, I got to see everybody. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. So I got to see them and I got to like, that's something that Nashville, I would, I'm not going to say would never have, but there's just not a house scene or anything here that I'm aware of there used to be when so JB (laughs) whose government name is James Beard he's a DJ and he used to do house on Sunday nights where was it I wouldn't he might still do it I'll find out yeah let me know but it was cool it was I mean and it's multiple DJs like is and they have their sets Stacey Abrams made an appearance. Because, come on, get the votes, girl. Right. Get the votes. Who was like, okay, big Stace. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. So she was there. It was cool. I, that, for me, was a highlight. But the biggest thing, you and I had talked prior to the show, um, I didn't record a Monday Motivation. Now, obviously, in this world of technology, you know, you can do batch recording. I personally don't like to do batch recordings of Monday Motivation because they tend to drop in my spirit on my way to the gym. Oh, or either during the gym. I just, just let them use you. It's more organic for me that okay. way. But because I was just, like you mentioned being, pre- I was present and I was just with enjoying my family, my top time with my family. And I did not even think about it till days later. I was like, oh. That's good. Right? That's and it good. felt good. Like I didn't feel bad. I like I it felt it just felt good it was good it was a really good trip so we don't give ourselves grace who else will I understand podcasting is a business I understand that we want to be professional and all these great things right but if we're not open and transparent and honest and called audible when we need to then who are we hello we're not taking the funk on go ladies just so y'all know (laughs) (laughs) we're not gonna do that so nope. you get the good, the bad, the ugly. Period. And most times it's really pretty though. It is. <laughs> I have on less makeup today. You notice that? Yeah, you don't have a look. I'll lean all into the camera. <laughs> Look. Okay. Get out the camera. <laughs> it's like oh, people are like back up. <laughs> oh, sure didn't lead it. You see this? You see it? Yes. I like it. Still need some color. But oh. this is what it is. This is it's gorgeous 90 percent of the time yeah this is how i'm walking around the house like you know and that's okay because that's what you're at home i know we're on camera but you're at home now you know how i feel about being on camera i know you You like like but this is the other side of you this is true this is with the white tank white beater that's you see i like it Mm -hmm. i mean t-shirt draws Deck your face. And then my penis on. And why my mama tell me she saw the um Adina Howard unsung? And I was like, why were you watching that? <laughs> All right. <laughs> She's like, yeah, I didn't I didn't know about her. You wouldn't, mom. You're not her demographic. Okay, she know now. She does. I was like, <laughs> seeing freak like me all the time she's like of course you did <laughs> part of being the baby she ain't paying attention to me oh. so huh? were any of your things censored when you were little yeah yours wasn't wait what do you mean censored like you could listen and to everything or... oh once daggum uh tipper gore came along <laughs> and put that sticker mama was looking for the parental advisory she would not buy me and i would literally for those of you who are just listening i would try to put my thumb over the cd 
Man, I want this one. <laughs> Dummy. You just dumb. <laughs> <laughs> That's not gonna work. It didn't. It did not. I was so mad. Oh. We know you was out here in the streets. I know. I was in the streets. No, don't. Uh, uh, uh. Not on my mommy. <laughs> my mother never censored what I watched, read, or listened to. I just didn't. Okay. I could read whatever. Mm. Uh, and I'm a little dirty, so I'm reading a lot. Let's be honest. Right. I'm, I'm reading yeah. more than I'm watching. Right. And I remember my mother and dad. Um, <laughs> Bought me my first Walkman mm-hmm. with a Purple Rain CD. I mean, Purple Rain cassette, but a CD cassette. Mm-hmm. And I'm jamming. And no, hmm. I had all the music, they didn't care. That's what's up. I had discernment at an early age. They knew I was of good moral character and could handle it. I mean, you got to know your kids. You know that. Every kid is different, and times are different too. And you, you know. Yep, but yeah, which now my kids throw back in my face. They're like, "You let me watch SpongeBob, but you could watch whatever." I'm like, mm. "Yeah, apparently I was a better moral character than you." <laughs> That's what you tell them. Goodbye, Daisy. I'm so done. Mm. <laughs> I couldn't, but I would get my brother too. Oh. You did. I would. I would find a way if it was. <laughs> Cut your ass apart. Life will find a way. It will. You're right. I mean, especially movie. I shouldn't have seen Poetic Justice even when it came out. I was older, but I, according to the rating, I should not have been there. I went there. My sister took me there, but that was a. She was supposed to be watching me, and she wanted to see it, so I went <laughs> with her. Right. Yeah. What happens when you're an older child? Like. <laughs> yeah. And then my brother took me to see Above the Rim. And I ran into one of my friends from school. Neither one of us was supposed to be in there. Theater was packed. This is all in Detroit. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I had my ways. Mm-mm. I couldn't go anywhere. But I was able to do everything at the house. So, like, read, watch, you know, whatever. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, no. Okay. I couldn't go anywhere. I got banned from going a lot of places. Parents wouldn't let me go. So. Okay. So, that, yeah, you're good. Yeah. It worked out. I mean, I go where I want to go now. (laughs) (laughs) I'm grown. And other perks to being grown are? And now I won't be a hoe. (laughs) Is cuffing? Are we talking about cuffing or no? Huh? Are we talking about cuffing or no? I mean, yes, but beyond that, I pay for this house. So, like, I like being at home, (laughs) the house I pay for. So, but yes, mm-hmm. so fall is in the air. Is it? It's hot. Even... <laughs> I'm sorry. That's my segue. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> run it back. See, we're going to run it off. Run it back. Oh, Joseph, we going crazy today. Go ahead. I know. Fall is in the air, mm-hmm. even though it's a heat wave across the Southeast and the West. Um, We woke up one day over the weekend. I was like, it feels a little crisp out here. What's going on? So cuffing season is up on us. I it comes around every year. <laughs> I don't have my roster together yet. Mm. I'm just the game made the game. I don't mm. I'm just not doing well. <laughs> I didn't go to draft. I didn't go to the combine. I didn't go out here to the fat boy basketball league. That's where I should go. Didn't. I forgot. Life be life in. Okay. That's where I need to go to get the I roster. Did you see the story on him? Did you see the new story? That's a new story. He wasn't that cute. Go ahead. <laughs> First of all, I don't care about the he. It's a team. I was looking at the B roll and the ballast, and I was like, hmm. Hmm. go ahead, though. I need to go scout it out. See if there are any people who recruit for the team. You're very particular, so go ahead. You know who I am. And so I'm yeah. go scout it, hand out some pamphlets. Can you read these words? No, never mind. Um, so you know. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it's cuffing season. So I don't have the t- timeline pulled up, but you know, 
you're supposed to get your roster together, start having these auditions, figure out who you're going to take into the uh, game with you because it's going to be cold too. And you know, we found Walton. <laughs> you know. It's going to be a cold winter. It's going to be cold and you want it somebody is. to lay up with, basically. Keep I just wanted Netflix and chill with. Keep you warm. I loved how they portrayed that on the show, Harlem. Did you, you remember that? That was so, and they were well, really- she went looking with her friend? It was like- Yes. Which they one? were last minute. Like you're kind of talking about you time running out. I know. Get out of here. Yeah. Oh. No, I don't. Okay. I don't. Okay. So hmm. we'll see what happens. Look, mm. nobody makes it to the league. I guess I got to call up some drafts. I don't know from the minor league. See if they want to get promoted. Hmm. Mm. I mean, you got to make it to the big league at some point. So, you know. Or you get cut. Okay. Yep. <clears throat> Moving on. Um, so- <laughs> Everybody don't make it to the majors. Some yeah. folk only make it to the Nashville sales. <laughs> some hey, folk man. make it to the Yankees. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm sorry. I'm just please. saying, everybody don't make it. So, we'll see. I might, yeah. Hi, Yankees. I'm sitting there really thinking, like, hmm, can I call up somebody? Oh, my or, Lord. Okay. No. And they are, we're talking about all things aging and old. Um, <laughs> Here's and the joy of being this age, though. Okay, go. The joy of being this age is I can say unabashedly and unapologetically that I might well call somebody from the majors. You know what I mean? Like, and own that. I don't have to be shy about that. I don't have to be, you know, coy about that. Like, it's yeah. about to be cold. I need on demand that can mm-hmm. come by and do some work and then go about their business. And there is nothing, seriously, there's I nothing you. wrong with work wanting a physical relationship with a person. Oh. Um, and if you can tolerate a physical relationship with the person. I understand that everyone can. Right. Some people have to have a lot of other things involved in that. And I respect that. Yeah. Um, but some folks just want to work out and um, go on about their business. So, yeah. Okay. Hmm? Very profound words. <laughs> I hate you so much. I hope you want to work out. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope you find a good workout partner in your journey to cuffing season (laughs) let's be honest i ain't looking that hard (laughs) there you go okay well that is being honest then i ain't looking that hard never know there's never been a shortage right are you yawning on the show you're not boring me i'm just (laughs) i knew that did oh and they just gonna cuss me Y'all, they said i record this after working a long day i'm just a little tired (laughs) Go ahead. I'm not, it's not you. We're cuffing. I'm just saying that there's yeah. never a shortage. Like, True. that's the one thing that, you know, a lot Sausage of people, is always available. Always. Mm-hmm. Never off the shelf, never backlog. It's never unavailable. <laughs> Wasa. <Awesome. laughs> okay. No supply chain shortage, none of that? Never. All right. Quality can go down. Mm. You know, quality can go down. Sometimes you might get the McDonald's. Sometimes you might get the Ruth Chris. You don't know. I get that but... white goo. Mm-hmm. Kobe. Kobe, they massage the cows. Exactly. But... Like, that's nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Keep us posted. I shall. Or I won't. Either way. Because you you can do that. Uh, you posted. That's your business. Right. Everybody else might get to know, but I'm keeping you posted. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, so we had a, a heart to heart. We did. Um <laughs> with aging comes some challenges. There comes freedom, which we just yep. 
express there's a yes. great freedom with being a adult adult but then there are also some challenges like health yeah. challenges unfortunately for some people so ours I was telling Nathan I'm telling you all um obviously when we started the podcast I was 39 and <laughs> I was excited to be 40 and 40 is good you were 40 for the I'm most so 40 right I'm 40 I'm 40 I'm 40 I'm 40 I'm celebrating 40 hey. Blonde hey. hair, photo hey. shoot. Hey. I'm naked. I'm hey. not. Puerto what? Rico. Oh. Hey. Party every weekend. Boom. Until. <laughs> <laughs> no. Until. That's a montage before she says, wonder how I got here. <laughs> Basically, how it started. How mm-hmm. it... Um, so as I am entering into 40 plus one, Uh, (laughs) I have developed like random pains like I have lower back pain I don't like I have my trainer send me some stretches it's just I will say it's really weird I'm not I don't know the right word for this I'm not in the place of excitement that I was (laughs) like I wasn't that lasted for how long it lasted now I'm like I don't like this part. I don't know where this mysterious pain came from. I don't, you know, like I, I don't like that I'm wobbly and I look like the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man in my head. I do, you know. <laughs> I do feel like I look like Stay Puff and it's okay. You okay. look, you're talking about you. You get to say what I you want to about you. I feel like I look like Stay Puffed a lot. Um, but yeah, I would I don't know. This this season is a little rough for me, I will say. Physically. Oh yeah. It's so, and aesthetically. So yeah. It's hard. Yeah. It is hard. Um <laughs> I didn't have that revelation at 40. Mm. I talked shit at 40. I did. Yeah. I was like, people talk about your eyesight go bad. Mine didn't. Hey. Not realizing I was already blind. And the next step's a dog and a cane, so couldn't go that much worse. Mm-hmm. Um, seriously, mm-hmm. 40, I'm gonna say 45 was yeah. really like, hmm, hmm, mm. what's going on? And I will say it's hard being that in the middle of a pandemic, um. the world has changed. Mm-hmm. the world has changed okay. um, I'm going to talk about me personally I came off of caregiving burying a husband mm-hmm. COVID changed jobs twice mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. to hire higher stress jobs mm-hmm. twice mm-hmm. became an empty nester caught COVID twice mm-hmm. And um, and now facing some additional health challenges, and it made it made me pause. That's part of that whole thirty day reset yeah. because yeah. I'm like, as I told you on the phone earlier, my body feels foreign to me. Mm-hmm. It's homecoming season, you know, good and well. Homecoming season, I put on my headphones. I'm hitting the treadmill. I'm eating lettuce. I'm drinking water. Mm-hmm. Um, it's not happening this year yeah it's not happening this year mm-hmm. so I'm trying to figure out like why isn't that happening like is it a is it a mental thing is it a physical thing is it a and it's a d all of the above thing mm-hmm. um I have an inhaler for the first time in a long time like I had asthma younger in life haven't had it post-covid yeah. can't breathe um a tire you know um it's just the whole struggle and so in grasping for straw because I'm not content to sit here and be like oh well this is just it because I don't want to be Nashville 50 mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. um or southeast 50 Mm-hmm. Um, and by saying that the typical Southern alto in the church, 
You got to back up off them altos. I know. I'm probably in an alto, just in case. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm saying all these things are stereotypical. Let me clarify that for the altos will be in my inbox. Because uh, <laughs> I can't sing at all, but you're an alto. Um, <laughs> but the quintessential just, I gave up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I won't be JLo 50. And I recognize JLo has a lot of work and a team and a trainer and a this and a that, but yeah. she also has discipline. Yeah. She's also putting in the work to do that, you know? Mm -hmm. As much as we try to say, you know, Beyonce got a team, JLo got a team, they do have a whole team to help them look their best. Mm -hmm. That hair, the makeup, all that. But they're also putting in work. Yeah. Um, I don't have to be at that level, but I do want to make sure that I'm giving it my best. Mm -hmm. And even more importantly, I'm very cognizant that I am the only parent my children have. Right. And so I got to stick around. Mm -hmm. Got to stick around. Mm -hmm. I got to see my baby graduate. I got to see the kids get married. I got to see some grandkids at some point in time. No time soon though, y'all ain't ready. Um, you know, I just, there's some things I want to do. And you have to be, got to have good knees to have grandbabies. You do? You got to have a good back to pick up a baby, you know? Mm -hmm. It's the stuff you got to have. And so I'm like, no, 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 no. I can't go out yet. I can't. And by going out, I mean going out and just settling for, oh, well, this is it. Yeah. I don't want to do that. So mm -hmm. I told some friends the other day, I said, fuck retirement. Ain't going to be retirement money no way, right? You got so. Yeah. You save your money for the plastic surgeon and for all your doctor's appointments. I feel like I have a plethora of doctor's appointments right now. Mm -hmm. um, as again, I have some health challenges, so I'm working on those things. But yeah. like, like, damn, I'm always at the damn doctor. Mm -hmm. Like for, you got to have your um, facials. You got to have your massages, if you like those type of things. Mm -hmm. the, the nails and the feet, you yeah. know. Yeah. There's the um, gynecologist and your and your waxing person. There's a dermatologist. There's a PCP. There's mm -hmm. a depends on your mammograms. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Gotta keep the teeth, you know. Yeah. And they shift. Yeah. How about your orthodontist? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, not to mention the hair color, because you get old, you start to go gray. That's true. And so because it goes great everywhere, mm -hmm. you gotta dye this and wax that. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's a lot of work. <laughs> the upkeep. But I, for me, I, and I, you might not share the same sentiment, but I do think it's admirable because you think about the people who neglect, for whatever reasons, their health care. You know, not everybody is able to, or whatever the case may be, but of course, I, think, I love that you have have not given up you still have like that we're gonna figure this out whatever it may be you know what I mean and I think that's a, definitely a part of self-care it's not you know it's all of that yep <laughs> so. I am blessed and highly favored in the fact that I have health care yeah I recognize that I, I work for a good company and they got good health care mm -hmm. and so um I'm very appreciative yeah of that mm -hmm. more so probably than I ever have been in my life mm -hmm. because I see the amount of wraparound care that it takes mm -hmm. and I'm just like goodness gracious and that's not just I mean some of it's vanity right the hair the waxing all that you know yeah. um that is vanity but the gyno the mama the teeth the uh rheumatologist mm -hmm. the PCP the eye doctor yeah that's just the basics. Yeah, yep, yeah, yeah. I know. You know, from the roots to the tooty, that's the basics. Yeah, it is. You know, I mean, if push comes to shove, I can color my own hair, right. but I can't diagnose my own ailments. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so I also realized too, I have to do my part yeah. in giving them something to work with. Right, yeah. So, you know, it means making better choices. Yes, I had a lovely sandwich for lunch, I mean, for dinner today. Um, and that's it. You know what I mean? I have to do, make the choices that, you know, give them something to do because right. they're not magicians, they're doctors. Yeah. 
That's true. That's true. And Tab said it. I mean, Tab is not a vegan because she likes vegetables. She's not. Yeah. She has grown to like being a vegan. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Tab is a vegan. Tab, like I know her. Tab yeah. with the brown. Yeah. <laughs> tab. But yeah. Tab's a vegan because she was ill. For her health, yeah. She and was she was like, I've tried everything else. Yeah. Let me try this. Let me try this. Let me say it. That's on my list. Mm-hmm. And I don't want to be vegan, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> you are. And she's a Southern girl. So I know that was hard for her, too. Girl. But you got to weigh the options. You, you tired of being sick. You going to try whatever you need to try. Well, I've been vegetarian before. Yeah. I've never yeah. been vegan. Get a vegan. And, yeah. and vegan. And very strict. It is very strict. Mm -hmm. um, my next thing that I'm trying to give up, but it loves me so much. Mm -hmm. Like it loves me deep in my spirit, makes me warm at night, is sugar. You know, I like a sugar. I mean, but, and you know, we all want something sweet. We all, you, we make jokes about it. People be like, oh, I can't. Lord, deliver me from wanting something sweet. <laughs> like, that spirit is heavy on a lot of us, myself included. You know, it's like, oh. I like gummy bears. I like the cut cake. <laughs> I know. I, I like the sweet tea. Yeah. I like the cola. Yeah. I made strawberry sorbet last night. Mm, I saw that on your story. It was so very tasty. Yeah. It was I so know. very tasty. So. I think, I don't, for me, I'm, I'm trying to change my self-talk. Mm-hmm. Makes a big difference. Yep. But also, I I don't want to necessarily see food as good or bad. No. You know, I, and it's so easy, those labels. We've heard it all our life. You know, that's good. You know, well, no, that's bad. You don't eat that. That's bad. You it know? changes every week, though. Right. Um, so I'm 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 just kind of working on that. As you know, we've discussed on the show with my own personal health journey. I have no idea why I have just gained weight over COVID. And I don't want to say I have no idea. Do I eat clean all the time? I don't. Full transparency. I do not. But Nasa knows, people who know me, I don't just sit up and just be binging either. So <laughs> for me, that's part of my medical mystery, if you will, to find out truly what the hell is going on. Is this just age? Is it my genetics? And what really, I've come to a point where it's like, like you said, I don't recognize myself. I don't, I don't feel like myself. I just, and I'm not beating myself up. I just really don't. Yeah, like, that's your truth. I don't, you know, I'm still cool. I do stuff. I still have some zest in there, but I really have days where I'm just like, this ain't it. Like, <laughs> just, yeah. I, I don't want to, you know, shade. I don't want to rep for the big girls. I don't, I don't always, I'm like, yeah, I'm a big girl and I'm killing it. No, that, that's never been my, my mission statement though. I've never been that, you know, it's just been, I'm fake. But, it's, it's hard for me because I mean shout out to them but I, it's just not me I don't I don't want to be in that category per se I'm never going to be skinny but I never imagined I'd be the size that I am now that really is my truth I ne you could not have told me that in a million years when I lost a hundred pounds years ago that I'd look like this right now I would not have believed you if you said it so this is very difficult for me like I get it I hate it to be honest. It's like I really hate it. Cause I feel like I'm lit on the inside and then I'll match my outside. <laughs> you know, I don't always feel like a bad bitch. Like I'm just like, ugh. <laughs> I understand. I never want to be the girl that used to be pretty. Right. Cause you you right, you hear, oh, she used to be real cute. Or he used to be. It's really the dudes for me. So like, oh, he used to be fine in high school. <laughs> Or college or whatever, and look at him now. He's missing teeth. <laughs> I just, I, I didn't want that, and so, right. yeah. And, and look, before we go any further, yeah, I recognize I look at my right mind. All my limbs work. Yes, I'm breathing on my own. You yeah. know, it's a lot of folk out here who look at us and be like, "Them bitches complaining, and I can't do X, Y, and Z." Sure. I understand that. Yeah, me too. I also can also strive to be better right. and that's where I am that's the truth that I'm speaking on right now it's like I can also say 
I am grateful and thankful for all those things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. However, I want to be my best version of me. Right. And there's no magic bullet for that for me. Like, it's about me putting the work and getting to the bottom of these medical mystery things that are going on Mm -hmm. and understanding that what works for you might not work for me. Absolutely. And being aware that worked for me 20 years ago mm-hmm. might not work for me now. Yeah. I didn't understand it years ago. My mom was like, oh, your aunt Karen can't eat cucumbers. And I'm like, well, that's weird. Mm-hmm. She used to eat cucumbers. Right. Yeah. But she can't eat cucumbers now. They make her ill. Mm-hmm. I'm like, how'd that happen? Yeah. Until I realized there are things that I can't mm-hmm. do anymore. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, um, that you just can't process or digest like you used to. Mm-hmm. Um, those who know me, it's no secret. I've had nine surgeries in my abdomen. Nine. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There yeah. are certain things that I can't eat. Purely the weight of the food. Not mm-hmm. even always the texture, the actual physical weight. Like if you see me eat pasta, I'm only eat this much because pasta's heavy. Yeah, you are. It is. And I'll be sick. Yeah. Um, yeah. Real talk, I probably puke probably at least once a week sporadically, yeah. like spontaneously. Yeah, yeah. I do it so often that it doesn't surprise me anymore. It doesn't surprise me anymore. Yeah. You know, and I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> you know, it's just part of living as NASA and these medical yeah. issues that I do have. Yeah. I make it look fun. I make it look lit. But the reality of it is, no. Yeah. No? Yeah. Um. Which also plays a part in me dating. Mm, okay. I realized for myself, I date and get so close. Mm-hmm. And then I'm like, okay, that's enough. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Christopher, my husband, knew me in and out. Mm-hmm. All the ups and downs we had, he knew me in and out. Yeah. And when I didn't feel well, he knew me in and out. I wasn't embarrassed about the fact that I didn't feel good. I wasn't embarrassed about all those things. Yeah. Um, we could talk about anything. I mm-hmm. mean, you have a girl with stomach issues, you have a man with colon cancer, talk about a lot of stuff. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> a, lot, it's a lot of shit talk. Yeah. Well, <laughs> <You know? but. laughs> I mean, seriously. Yes. Um, so much so that our, I think me and my girls talk about poop probably more than most people do, but yeah. it's just part of our conversation. Mm-hmm. Um, I remember I got sick at a guy I was dating's house and like physically like was chilling, 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 chilling. And I was like, I'm gonna be sick. Mm-hmm. And I'm trying to hold it. Yeah. I'm gonna listen. Yeah. Yeah. Trying to watch the show. Mm-hmm. And I get up and I'm immediately sick, you know, and I made it to the bathroom, of course, and all those things, did not make a mess. Mm-hmm. But I was so embarrassed that I grabbed my purse and oh. walked straight to my car. Yeah. And in his defense, he was very kind. He was like, you can stay here, lay down. You don't feel good. Don't drive. What are you doing? You know? Yeah. And I was so embarrassed Mm -hmm. and so uncomfortable that I was like, I got to go to my own house. (laughs) You know, I got to go lay in my own bed. You Mm -hmm. can't see me in this way Mm -hmm. because this isn't bad bitch day. So this is, this is sick, Mesa. Like, oh, no, no. Mm -hmm. (laughs) You know? So um as much as I'm looking for the cuffing season dude right. I'm not looking for a real partner dude because I'm not ready to somebody in on that world yet okay okay so September is self-care awareness month is it yes so all of what we talked about is a aligning care um yeah and like Nasa said we are very grateful we realize that we are blessed I I would say protocol being established. (laughs) Um, This isn't a bashing session. It's just, you know, how we feel about some things in our lives and as we age. And I'm sure a lot of you can relate. And if you can't, that's your business too. But um, (laughs) nevertheless, self-care isn't all. You hear people say this. It's not just necessarily your nails, your hair. Yes, that's a part of it. Those are things that make you feel good right yeah. away, right? Mm-hmm. But I feel like self-care is also everything you listed, going to the doctor, having regular checkups, making sure your health is intact. That is taking care of yourself as well. 
So yes, I mean you can be fine as hell, but if you you know not healthy on the inside, yeah. it doesn't really matter. Yeah. So my I want to be healthy and fine. Hello. Healthy and fine. And fine. That's the goal. Yep. Mm -hmm. Take care of yourself. Self care awareness. Let us know how you're taking care of yourself. I'm always interested in in new things. Like you're doing the thirty day yeah. thing now. So yeah, and I'm gonna pop up in some weird places too. Like this month, I am committed to doing some different things. So I'm excited on this little journey. You can find us on youtube uh <laughs> itunes podcast spotify anywhere you find podcasts that's where we are make sure you like and follow us on instagram too we're going to try to put more content out there as well and um Did you say youtube i said you i thought about youtube hang i got add you was dancing i'm sorry go ahead <laughs> we're all still auditions for a new co-host <laughs> in the month of october <laughs> Anyway, you guys enjoy the rest of the day. Have fun. Take care of yourself. Again, let us know how you take care of yourself. And I'm going to start off with this fool. We're going to bring you something different next time. <laughs> Bye. Self care awareness. Hey.